everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Over at Futurism.com, they had a very interesting piece. DARPA is planning to hack the human brain to let us upload skills. Now that's one heck of a way to learn, if you ask me. It says the DARPA Targeted Neuroplasticity Training Program is exploring ways to speed up the skill acquisition by activating synaptic plasticity. If the program succeeds, downloadable learning that happens in a flash may result. Now, in March 2016, the U.S. military's Mad Science Branch announced their TNT program, or Targeted Neuroplasticity Training. The TNT program aims to explore various safe neurostimulation methods for activating synaptic plasticity, which is the brain's ability to alter the connecting points between neurons, which is a requirement for learning. Now, DARPA hopes that building up that ability by subjecting the nervous system to the kind of workout regimen will be able or enable the brain to learn more quickly. Now, what does this do? Of course, this right here would be a hack, a form of hacking. Now, the road to hell is paved by good intentions, and believe me, no one would like to be able to pick up a third or fourth or fifth or sixth language like me in the blink of an eye. I mean, it would, it would be absolutely fabulous to learn things without having to go through the rigmarole or the time of having to study or research. I mean, psh, it would be great. The downfall is what, what else are you downloading? What else are you learning alongside of that if you're doing it in a flash fashion? If you aren't able to use your discernment to decide what you want to download and what you don't want to download, how do you control people from hacking into your brain and maybe planting things there that you don't want there? See, that's the downfall to this stuff. So while it would be of, an ama of amazing benefit, I mean, people who have uh, trouble reading or uh, uh, trouble with math, say they suck at math, they could just instantly become engineers. I mean, you could retrain people in a heartbeat. And so there's a lot of upside to it. Unfortunately, the downside's catastrophic, at least in my eyes. Because if you give people access to your brain, just how far will they go? That's the question. Just how far will they go to control this matrix we live in? And I think you know the answer to that, which is why, while it would be of awesome benefit to have uh, the ability to download things in an instant, and maybe one day we'll see it, right now there's just too much corruption out there for me to trust anybody with pumping anything into my brain without me having a say in what gets stored there first. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and subscribe to us over at the dailysheeple.com. We got a great newsletter over there. I think you'll enjoy it. Have a great day, everybody.